Greetings fellow Earthlings and welcome to the final episode this week of Ancestors Reborn. Um, this is like part of a scrim night hosted every Monday and it's organised by OP Noobs. Uh, links to their stuff down below, links to how to take part in the scrim night down below, uh, links to the game on Steam down below, links to the Discord down below and also Exad and more on our Twitch our Twitch streamers, uh, they stream some Ancestors Legacy sometimes, they're also down below in the description. Oof, got all that out of the way. Uh, Methodius is playing Vikings and on his team we have Exad who is playing Germans this time. Uh, and then we have Stevenus playing the Slavs and um, Morland has changed to Germans also. Um, I, I say change because we had, we played this before, we got about a minute into it and it there were a bit of a crash, so yeah. And people have changed factions since. Um, oh well, no problem. And changed strategies as well. Uh, so Morland and awaits out here. Um, he's worried probably that uh, Methodius is going to cross the bridge and try something offensive, but no, he's, he's worried. He's, he's realised that that's not going to happen, but it is what's going to happen. That could, could that happen? Yeah, he, he's realised that Methodius has not attacked this village yet, so he's all he's immediately decided, okay, I've got to retreat from this, I'm going to pull back and just see what happens, and Methodius, seeing this village on fire, he's crossing over, but this, this could be a mistake for him, because the village has not been taken yet, and now we're just going to like have some weird standoff sort of thing. I wonder how long this standoff is going to last. Anyway, Steven is pushing up to take this village here, and it's sad. <clears throat> Moving up to take Village D. So if you hear any weird sounds, it's my stomach. It's yeah, it's been making weird sounds all day. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, anyway, the village has been taken, um, and they have actually come into contact, which I didn't expect. I expected them to stay in like some uh, weird standoff for a while, but no. I think it was actually Methodius who made a push to take the village, um, and it's not going to work in his favour, sadly for him. Um, he should just retreat from here. I think he has the stronger units, but he's already taken a lot of damage from the village and from a charge, I'm guessing, so he's quite weak there. Meanwhile, as you can see on the minimap, uh, Stevenus is crossing over the bridge uh, to take C, whilst Exad is right in the middle there. He might probably go down to take C, or he might try and cross the bridge to go for B. What's Stevenus doing? So he's going to try and go for middle, I think. Oh, he's done a. Oh, he took a lot of damage there. Surely it be, surely it wouldn't have taken too long just to go around the village. No, they don't go through the village. Ooh, dear, Methodius lost a spearman. Oh, that's that's really not good, especially this early on to lose a spearman. Luckily, Stevenus does have some swordsmen coming in, but uh, yeah, they should make it in time. But you know, to lose a spearman that early on, that's not what I wanted. Exide moving down. Oh no, no. Uh, so it's Stevenus is on Mormon's team. I'm getting confused from the last one, uh, like two days ago, or yesterday, depends on when they uploaded. So yeah, Methodius is going to have to pull back because he does not want to lose his hero as well. He's going to lose his hero. He's going to lose his hero. Oh, he, he managed to get retreat. Oof. I was worried for him there. Um, Exide and Methodius joining forces to cross the bridge. They're coming in. They want this village. Don't know what it is that they sell here at this village, but they want it. Morwen just having to retreat his hero. Oh, they were so close to killing him as well. Just another one more second and then I've got him. But Morwen's actually going crossbowman. I did not expect that at all. Uh, Methodius is crossing the bridge with his units, hero and spearman. Oh, I just pull the crossbowman out of there. There's nothing I can do. They've thrown everything into taking this village and I've got no idea why. But I think it's worked. Uh, well, they're taking the village. I don't know if it's going to work in the long game. Steven is moving around to take this village from Exide. Uh, Exide does have crossbowmen. I don't see the point in crossbowmen. These are, of course, top level players, so they probably know the point. I just don't like missile units. You know, it's. Ugh, I've never been a fan of them. So, yeah. I... My strategies are completely different to theirs, but that doesn't mean one strategy is bad. It just, it's just a different opinion on strategy. Um, I think Stevenus will take this village here from Exide. Uh, even though it is snowing, it will be difficult. Although it is already in silver health. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, it's just an attack fight. It's got loads more health reinforcements, so it should be fine. Hero as well. Although, Exide is coming with Crossbowman, I don't think it's going to be enough. Um, Moran has got his uh, Crossbowman caught in melee here, he's done have to pull back. He tried something over here, I don't think he got any kills really. Might have got a few shots in on the Spearman, but no real damage. Um, he's also sent his Hero in as well, probably done retreat him soon as well. Um, it's not looking good for Marwin. He's gone for a missile game again. Um, it didn't work for last time, and I don't think it's going to work this time. I don't know why he keeps doing that. Maybe there is a strategy behind it, as I said. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, currently, um, blue team have three villages, red team only have one. So, although it looks like unit wise, red team are winning, village wise, they're not. They've like grouped up too much, I think, and blue team have like spread apart to take villages. Definitely worked in blue team's favour. Uh, some crossbow fires coming in. I think this is more just to annoy Methodius, uh, like a, a trolling strategy. I don't know. Uh, and he is definitely getting damaged, especially against heroes. That he's just going to keep on replenishing. Hmm. I don't know. Anyway, Steven seems to be handling his own front quite well. He could quite easily take B. He's got C defended and he's got this side sorted out as well. No issue here, I don't think. Although, he's m Ooh, we were so close to losing the swordsman. I saw those cleavers charging and I thought that was going to be it for a second. Uh, yeah, Methodius got his defence here and Mormon coming in with crossbows again. Just in a fire and Methodius is going to have to chase him out. If I get enough damage done on his hero, that could be good. Yeah, he's having to pull his hero back. How's this village here over here doing? Uh, so, oh, oh, he's almost taken it. Methodius has almost, yes, Methodius is going to take middle village here and he's got reinforcements as well. He took the village. I did not expect that. I thought Steven has had it under his control, but apparently not. Um, a catapult already? Oh, well done, Exard. That's, that's a good player. I like seeing that. Tier 2 catapult for Germans is taken. However, sadly, Moron has taken this. And when I say sadly, I mean sadly for the person I was talking about last, which was Exard. Yeah, yeah. But Moron, he's German as well. He gets tier 2 catapult like Exard. He's built the blacksmith. He's going catapult as well, I think. Uh, Steven is going for middle. And they're probably going to balance this out soon at three villages to two villages. Um... Yeah, once of course they take this, which is inevitable there. Exide should take this. Um, oh, but maybe not. Maybe, well, maybe Stevenus might not be able to get this middle village because Methodius is coming in with three Spearman units. Um, he is up against Swordsman. He does have the numbers advantage, but he's not the strongest unit. So it's going to be interesting to see here what he's able to do. And... No, no, sorry, that's so. all. I thought Stevenus there went into a healing formation, which would have just destroyed him when he got charged, but no, I don't. That was like defensive formation. But Foddy's probably doing lose a spearman here, just get him out of there. Retreat, retreat him out. There we go. And crossbows came in and killed him. <laughs> so now this entire front is completely open, no one's here to defend it. Exard is all the way up here with his troops taking this, and. Methodius has nothing. Oh, here, here he is, yeah, here he is, I forgot. Right, his troops are over here, but he's left his flank open. That means Marlon easily can just come in here, take E, maybe do a flank round at D. Stevenus can also push on D as well. Uh, they've done the take uh, this village at the top and might be able to push down at A, but Stevenus, he's got units, he can move them up to A. It's definitely looking in blue team's favour right now, even though that the villages, they're mostly even. Moron's been healing up a little bit there. I don't think he really needed to, but... Yeah, I, I guess he had time. I think he knew he had time. He saw that Methodius' units were over here, so he knew he had time. Methodius uh, healing his units back up. That catapult's good. That's helped him take two villages. And it's moving in to try and take air. Steven is, I think he knows the catapult's coming this way, so he's done a sort of defensive at this bridge here. Although these crossbowmen against his spears and swordsmen, they're going to do some good damage. Marlon has managed to take E. It's going to be interesting to see where he goes next. Will he go for D? Or will he possibly do some sneaky base rush and try and take uh, Methodius' village? Methodius is playing as Vikings, which means his buildings are much easier to burn. Um, he's got no units here, he is training the, sword, uh, the Spearman unit now, but, you know, I, I do really want to see some good base rush. 
even if you only get to destroy the towers, I think. As long as you get all your squads out of there, replenished and it's fine, then it will work. And he's bringing in a catapult, yeah, I think that's what he's doing. I think Marlon's wanting to do a base rush. He's going to push in with the units and the catapult at the same time, take out the towers and then just fold in and just take out their buildings. Um, Exard has crossed the bridge. Um, like he is bombarding this uh, settlement here with his catapult. He should take it on the next shot. Um, he had to retreat his crossbowman, but Stevenus is going to charge at the catapult. Can he get the shot in in time? Yes, yeah, so he managed to destroy the village, but his catapult... It's now in melee and he's going to lose it. Be interested to see if uh, Stevenus steals the catapult from him. Stevenus crossing the bridge also is going to take this middle point from Methodius and yet yeah, we're going to see a siege. He's already begun. Catapult firing in at the tower. Let it burn. Ha ha ha. Alright, so uh, Stevenus is going to take that and add it to a blue team. Um, oh, Stevenus is probably going to lose a swordsman here, but he's got his Vikings in and. Sorry, were the Vikings? Um, I can't remember what his faction he's playing as. Uh, Slavs, yeah, Slavs. He, he's got his spearmen in. They took out the crossbows and he might be able to. Ooh, Exiled, well played with that tower. It's going to fire in and kill most of those spearmen, saving those crossbows. Oh, that's it for Methodius, that's it, he's, he's done. Uh, Catapult destroyed most of his buildings and he's using his hero to just scout. Methodius is done, he's got nothing left. Once this burns down to the ground, that's it, Methodius is out. And he loses his units as well. These three spearmen, they'll just disappear off the map. And there it is. Methodius gone. He's called his GG and everything he has disappears from the map. Because he had lost his village. Well played by Morgan there with that base rush. I'm so happy I saw the base rush. And XR calls GG as well. Yeah, they just didn't have the village count to actually survive. And it had become a 2 versus 1 when Methodius got destroyed as well. Whew! It's been a fun week recording these. Thank you to everyone who let me take part um, in spectating these. Um, I'll be linking loads of stuff down below in the description to like how to buy it on Steam, how to take part in Scrim Nights uh, like these, and get. Uh, uh, on one of these videos uh, which is basically the dream and yeah people's twitch accounts VOP noobs who organize this thank you to everyone and yeah goodbye